Hello, everyone. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my point you class today. We're going to do a little point you class. We're going to warm up first in the beginning, and then we're going to do point you exercises to strengthen the ankles, to learn to stand on point shoes correctly, and um, to think about the correct point you technique. So we're going to get right into it. I hope you can see me well. It's a dark day today and I don't have extra lighting. So I hope you can see me. Ah, oh, it's fine like this. I hope you can see me well. I hope you can hear me well. Write me a comment if you can see me and hear me well, please. And I, I definitely know that I'm not speaking here uh, only to myself, but that you actually can hear me. So first of all, we're going to just do a little plie to warm up. Follow along with me. It's going to be a very easy plie. Just a normal little plie for warming up. The music I'm using today is from Normand Baba. Just a little plie to warm up. Three, four, and a one, two. Plie, open, grand plie, down, nice and straight. Three. Four, stretch forward, one, two, roll back up, and come right to the back, two shoulders back, round back, pinky down, down the second position, and then you plie up on the knees, ground plie nice and straight, sitting bones in between the two heels. And now we go towards the bar. And now we come back nice and straight. Other side. Come back. Continue four position on the jump. Breathe. One, two, three, four. Get on the nice and straight. Two. And a nice company for now. One, two, three, four. Up and back, two shoulders. Down, two, squeeze the inner thighs. One, two, to the Milan Grand. Super easy and good for warming up. Nice and straight down. Three. Four, plie, cross front foot, cross and stay. No doubt. Stay, 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 stay. Open and finish. Good. Nice music, huh? It's nice to dance some nice music. Uh, left side. Two. Try to dance from your heart. The most important thing for you is to do it with pleasure. To enjoy every single movement. Every single movement comes from, from your heart. And every single cell in your body is feeling the music. And forward. And roll back up nice and straight. Like you're growing to the sun. Like a plant towards the sun. Get down, dress the weight, and one, two, three, four, ground plie, nice and straight, your back super straight, and a big movement, far to the side, big movement, sideways, come back, pinky leads, two arms, Roll the jaw, forward position, and open the back knee, forward position. Keep your shoulders straight. Grab the nice and straight. Three, open from your heart, four, forward, one, two. And reach up, dance from your heart, two. Enjoy the warm up, feel your muscles warming up in your body, becoming warmer and warmer. Plie. Nice elastic muscles. And 
So the demi plié is an exercise to turn out from the hips, to improve the turn out from the hip joints, and also to make your muscles more elastic. It's a gradual warm up, step by step you're warming up. Back on tendu is to warm up the ankles because this brush movement, let me see if you can see my brush movement. Yes. So this little brush movement you're doing with your foot is very good for warming up the toes and for improving the strength in the toes. It's very important because later when you're gonna go on point, you will need the strength from the ankles to get on point and to hold your on point. So these battements on the exercises are super important for good point your technique. Very simple exercise, we're gonna go four times to the front, four times to the side, so you go front, back, front, back, four times to the back, and again four times to the side. Back, front, back, front. So the first time to the side, you close front, and second time to the side, you close back. If you have even numbers, you don't change. If you have uneven numbers and combinations, you change. That's how you remember it. If it's four and you need to end up back, then you go, don't change, change, don't change, change. And if you have three and you have to end up back, then you go, change, change, change. Even numbers don't change, uneven numbers change. Best way to remember. Okay, back on the on croix. Three, four. Feel front toes back. Keep pulling up through the steady leg to make place for your leg to come back. Brush to the floor. Keep growing up. Feel the muscles warming up. Nice and straight the hips. Six, seven, eight to the side. One. Back. Front. Back. to get on point. If you have things to think about when you go on point, make sure you don't stand over the toe. So you have the surface of the point shoe, that round surface, that's where you have to be standing on, on this part. So you shouldn't be standing on the ribs, on the ribs of the point shoe. You should be standing exactly on the point shoe. Your toes in the point shoe are not relaxing. They are super strong. You have to have like karate toes in the point shoes. Yeah, so they're super strong, the toes are working. Now, the ankles are very strong. Make sure you don't roll on the big toe. Keep your ankles straight. You see immediately what happens with my leg if I do this? It's not good for the knee, so your knee will get injured. Make sure you always put the middle of the hip, the knee, this bone, and the second toe, second toe. They all have to be on one line. No matter what sports you're doing, this is the only correct way of walking, of jogging, no, not like this because this is not good for the knees. Also not out, it's also not good. You have to turn, if you're turning the leg out, that means the hip and the knee and the toes are turning with you. So that's very important to remember in point shoes. Definitely not rolling on the big toe. So now we're going to do a very simple exercise. We're just going to practice rising on point. So we're gonna go weight forward. The first thing you need to do is you need to put your weight forward. So you're not standing there, it's called a question mark, like a question mark, you know, when it's like this and like that. Don't walk around like a question mark. You have to keep your body nice and 
straight. So you are always in front of your body. You're reaching towards the sun and forward. You're always forward. If you look at the Vagarava students in Russia, they're all very, very much forward. That's what you have to do. You have to put your body forward. It does not mean sticking your bum out. The hip position is with the sitting bones towards the heels, but it's from here that you're going forward with the body. So it's from under the breast that you're reaching forward. And imagine that you're wearing a diamond collier and your diamonds are always shining. So you're always going forward and up while your diamonds are shine, shining. The shoulders are down, the chest is open, nice long neck, you're nice and straight and open, always a little weight on the shoulders, body forward. Yes, and we're gonna do a nice so point. We're gonna do this. One and two. Strong toes push into the into the floor and pull up from the hips. And when you're going to come back, you're going to resist even more. And it's like your body resists to come down. So you don't relax and come down, but you really pull up and it's like your body does not want you to come back. Try to do this movement gradually, gradually up and gradually down. Now you're training the ankles to go on point and gradually to come off point. Going on point and off point is equally as important. So it's not only about getting up, it's also getting down from there. So rises on point first exercise. Pull your body up, everything is in. Pull your muscles towards your skeleton, nice and compact body. And we're gonna go up. Um, yes. I will do it like this so you can see me well. You can do it with two hands at the bar. I'll do it like this. One, two, three, roll back down. Do it again. One. Two on point. Three. I have a very slippery floor. Slippery floor. Again. One. Body is forward. See? My body is reaching forward. Now. Four. One. And two. Use the ankles through the knee plant to come back more. One. Two. Enjoy the music and flex your arm. Let the music help you. Two. Three. work, the toes work, muscles you've never used, and also the turnout works because you have such a small surface. If you're getting on point, there is no almost no resistance for you uh, to keep your legs turned out. So if you're doing this in the ballet studio, your feet will st stick to the floor and you won't be able to turn the legs in because your feet are stuck to the floor. But on a slippery floor like I have, it's going to be very easy for you to turn in. So you really have to Keep your muscles turned out to hold the on the heart, to keep the turn out. Okay, good. Next exercise, we're gonna go like this. So everything is turned out, five toes on the floor, little toe on the floor, you go plie. One, remember the thick elastic around your legs with resistance. You're bending your knees with resistance and you're pushing up, up, and you roll back up and you pull up from the hips. And again, plie with resistance, so no, not loose plies because you can't jump with loose plies. You need to have strong plies and then up, push up the floor. And roll back down, pull up from the hips. 
Yeah, make sure you don't pull back in the back. Body is still forward, sitting balls towards the heels. These muscles are turning out. Bum is working. Yes. And enjoy it. If you feel pain, think about the music. Try to enjoy it. Try to enjoy the process. Three, four, lie, up, come back, lie, hop, push on the floor, push with the ankles off the floor, make sure the knees are stretched when you come up, ankles and knees work together, it's an exercise for coordination, hop, roll back down, keep smiling when you do this, lie, push, roll back down, lie, push, come, continue a few more, one, Together to second position eight. Plie, two, three, four. Remember to use the ankles to really give the roll down and uh, um, sorry, she totally distracts me. <laughs> so you go up and then you roll down. Oh, yeah, what I was going to say is it's a coordination exercise, so it's about the knees and the ankles working together. So this is all about the coordination in the ankle and the knee together. And together, perfect coordination, like a cat. You have to learn these things from your from animals because they do it perfectly. They have perfect coordination, perfect landing from jumps. They're they are perfection. Huh? I don't know why people. Well, I don't know. It's a shame that we're not born like that, like cats. Huh? Okay, we have our own. Uh, <laughs> we have we have our own benefits, uh, uh, our own talents. I mean. Okay, let's go. <laughs> No, sorry, sorry. I've got your music. No, I'm going to give you other music. Mm. You can shake your legs in the meantime. Ah. Yes. Second position. Lie. Up. Come down. Lie. Push up the floor. Slowly coming down. Push up with the beer. Out. Look at the coordination between my knees and the ankles. Do you see? Knees and ankles working together. Jump. And I'm pushing off the floor with my ankles. I really push into the floor and then I push off the floor. Lie, push. And I'm back. Don't think about the pain. Keep smiling. One, two, three, four. One. Keep pushing. Tell yourself that your ankles are becoming stronger and stronger. The body is becoming stronger and stronger. One, one, two. If you don't have much for the beer, you can take a smaller second. It's going to be easier for you. A smaller second is fine. Then we come back. Three, up. Then we come back. Finish. Yes. This is actually also the difference between Russian style and English style. English uh, positions are smaller. So an English second position is much smaller then a Russian second position. You see? So this is, but if you don't have much, um, a lot of arch, so your arch is called your coup de pied. If you don't have a lot of coup de pied and you can't stand so far, yeah, then you don't have to make your second very big because your feet cannot do it. So you have to make your second just a little bit smaller. It's fine, you can make your second smaller, yeah. But make sure you get on the full point and make sure you don't roll or do like this, don't do banana feet, it's called banana feet. Don't do banana feet, keep your ankle nice and straight. So don't try to compensate in this way. So now we're gonna go one after the other. One and two, and one and two. Plie and push, plie and push. Every time, plie and push, plie and push. Um, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> in the toes, keep your body pulled up, use your ankles, keep going, seven, same thing, second position, 
Because your achilles is working as well, so you need to stretch them both the calf as well as the achilles. And other side, let's go also calf, keep your feet parallel, and then switch to achilles. Good stretching. It should feel good, it should feel really good. Okay, good. We've done this. Now remember I said that the turn up muscles they have to keep keep forward. They have to keep holding the legs turned out. So let's do like this now. Plie one, push two. And we go in and out. And again, in and out. So really using these muscles, rotating the heels maximum forward and pulling on before you go down, slowly coming down. And again, one and two and twice. In and out, in and out, and slowly coming Let's try this. Three, four, and uh, one. Put the arm up. Two, three, four. Or hold yourself with two arms. It's fine. Doesn't matter for me. Roll back up and again. Plie. Push. In. Out. In. Out. Pull up. Pull up. Come down more. One. Push. Shoes. By now, if this is the first time or the second time or the third time you're doing point shoes, that's enough for you. Yeah. For the people who are doing uh, more point shoes and more often, keep going. Yeah. For the people who just started, you have to build it up. And this class is quite difficult because you need to have already a good established basic before you start these classes. Um, so for the people who, who can continue, continue. For the people who are beginners, take it easy. Don't force yourself, especially now. Don't force yourself. Next exercise we're going to do is going to be like this. We're just going to walk in the center. So body is forward and you're going to go step, 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 step. What I want you to learn now is to bend and stretch knees. So while your toes are stretched, to learn to control the knees. Because this is something that many people don't feel very well. Once they stretch their toes, they stretch the knees. When they bend the, the, the feet, they also bend the knees. So you have to now learn to use the knees and the toes separately. So using different body parts in different ways is something that is very, very useful when you're doing point shoes, something that is necessary when you're doing ballet, to feel your different body parts and to learn to use them in different ways. I have a video on this in my YouTube channel. So we're just going to walk now. It's just going to be a little mush. Let me just quickly find the right music for this. Thank you. 
So you're gonna go like this. Plie, one, arms and legs come together. Arms to first, legs into plie, one. Arms and legs open to second, two. Foot slides through the floor, scraping the polish off the floor. Through the knee one into point, opening the arms, keeping the hips and the shoulders super straight, like aquarium with water, keeping it super straight. Now my center is going to go from this leg to the, to the toes of the other leg. I'm going to transfer my weight, step, step, and then I'm going to come down. Careful if you have a slippery floor. So go same thing left side. One, look into the hand. Two, step, step. Push, step on three, and come down on four. So it's all about controlling, coordinating, and transferring the weight from one leg to the other leg. We're going to do this a few times. When you're stepping, you're changing the leg. Thank you. 
and do like this. Five, six, oh sorry, five, six, seven, eight, coupe. One. So in this position, in this moment, the back leg is leading. The back leg is going one and two and three. And it's the back leg that says, let's go, let's go. And your body is moving and following the back leg. So you go from here into coup de pied. Back, rounding up the arms and the back goes. And you go step. So here you're coming off point. From here you go. Step, step, shoulders are back. Don't go too much forward, keep your back straight. To go coupe, round up the arms again. And to go to the other side, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck Moving, 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 moving. To go up and come down. And again, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck Step, come down. And again, tuck it, tuck it, tuck Step and finish. It's the last exercise we're going to do. Just a second. Seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and one. Sorry, two, three, and four. than this. I think it's more than enough for, for point shoes, especially at home. Keep yourself in shape. Stay healthy. I wish you and your family a lot of health. And I see you next time in my next video. Let me know in the comments what you thought about it. And uh, see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.